All right, uh, I don't know how to really intro this video, but I have bacon coming in in a couple of minutes, and it's probably already burnt. Uh, matter of fact, I can smell it and it's burnt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. The video done over with. It's gonna be like two or three minutes, maybe. Uh, Brockhampton, the postmodernist out of future, the Backstreet Boys, if you like penis. Um, so I don't really. When they first came out, I was on the hater train. I wasn't. I wasn't on the hater train because I thought they were kind of talented. And Saturation 1 had some hits. Uh, I was still in the face of letting Kanye to the influence my music taste. And they loved them, so I loved them. Uh, love is strong. I liked I liked the album. I liked Star. Um, I like Heat. I liked the rap tracks. I didn't like the weird skit-ish talking tracks like spoken word and shit i didn't like that and but it wasn't that much of that at that point fast forward to ginger which i just listened to essentially yesterday i think it was like one track i didn't listen to because i just was bored um it's not not an awful album that, that bacon is burnt by now it's not an awful album but it is if it, it brings up the worst parts of brockhampton for me um tracks like boy bye and um the one before boy bye which i don't have pulled up and try to look it up while i'm talking are good like the hip-hop tracks are good they're fresh they're innovative some of the beats it was like a weird like kind of jamba-esque type of beat that i really don't know how to describe but it was good like it was i think that's boy bye i'm thinking about sugar which is obviously the most popular track over here is pretty decent too and some of the, the skittish type of songs, like, fundamentally and, and topically, they're interesting, I guess. But, I mean, like, they're things, they're not, like, thematics that, like, they haven't already covered. Like, I think I've been born again is the one I'm thinking about in my brain. Um, Dearly Departed, I mean, like, these are tracks that lyrically are okay, but, like, they're just not interesting. Their execution of them are not interesting. I just don't like when they sit there and hit that um hardly speaking kind of whispering uh soapbox tracks and there's oh, i accidentally played it um there's just so many that aren't interesting like this if this was like a 30 minute a 33 minute it's a 44 minute album it was like a 32 minute album you probably wouldn't miss much of anything because most of the longer tracks are the spoken word pieces that aren't interesting in my opinion and i say all that to say like i think that the difference between saturation one and this to me other than me just think saturation one is a better album and it, it do it is containing more hip-hop songs um which obviously i like i think they can make a decent hip-hop track i mean i don't have a mirror anymore it was a big part of why some of those hip-hop tracks bong um but the lyric by kevin abstract um I don't really digest at the time, but every time I go back and think about Brockhampton, I call him Cockhampton because I think about this bar and I just don't know how to get past it. So the one off of Star, and it's like one of the most popular lyrics that they've had on any song, on any album. Um, I just gave my N-word, uh, what's that word? Uh, the when you, it, He just gave his nigga head, and I was thinking like, I didn't even like pay attention to that bar because I didn't know he was gay. Like I didn't know who Kevin Abstract was at the at that time. But as I've come to listen to more Kevin Abstract songs, like five, it dude has a lot of gay stuff, and I I it's perfectly fine. He's a gay artist. So I mean, he should. Now I listen to Frank Ocean and other gay artists. So I mean, I've heard gay lyrics, but he's just so vivid with the shit he says that I I <laughs> it's hard to get past it. And I'm like I. I don't think the albums are really too good outside of the, the, the gay bars. Like, I don't think they're even good outside of that. But, like, every time I hear him say something like that, I just, like, I don't know. It just leaves an imprint. It doesn't make me stop the song. It just makes me imprint. It leaves an imprint in my brain. Like, why do you say that?